Well, shout out to B1. Appreciate y'all. It was fine. I mean, you don't you don't treat you treat two imposters the same success and failure because neither one of them are fatal. Um, we, it's a learning experience. The guys battle. We had a chance to win it, um, but we got to play better on both sides of the ball. Um, all three phases, we got to play better football. Um, on defense, we got to give ourselves a chance. We got to we got to get those stops um, on those sudden changes. Uh, so at the end of the day, it's a good learning lesson for us. Um, guys battled. Uh, you know, there was a ton of mistakes guys made, but then we made a ton of huge plays to give us a chance. Oh, I think we responded fine. We had a chance to win the game. Um, we, we, we didn't get it done uh, at the end of the day. It's all you can hope for. Um, guys battled. We battled for 60 plus minutes um, all the way down to the wire. Um, all of our guys threw a bunch of injuries, guys going up and down. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll watch the film. We'll learn from it. We'll, you know, correct the things that need to be corrected and we'll get ready for Arizona. Uh, we played hard. We played hard, that's for sure. You know, we, we tried to give ourselves a chance. Um, you know, we didn't play up to our standard. There, was, there, were, there were plays. We had sudden changes. We were backed up. But you got to find a way to get them stopped. Um, and I think, you know, everybody in that room would say, you know, i got to make a play. Somebody has to make a play in those situations. Um, one of the situations, Tart made, made a heck of a play, got us off the field. Um, but, but I or somebody else got to find a way to make a play and, and, and get those guys stopped and hold them to a field goal. So. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, you, you can only, you know, point the finger at yourself and, and try to get better that way and, and work hard and get ready for the next opponent. Knowing what you know about this locker room, how do you expect this group to bounce back? Oh, I expect it to be a phenomenal bounce back. It, it's it's going to be great. You know, I, I, the coaching staff will be great about it. Um, they'll correct it. Um, guys will be locked in. Guys will be ready to correct those mistakes and move forward. Uh, and I, I'm excited for it. Um, I, uh, it's, it's, you learn more in the loss than you do in a win most times. Um, so I guess that's the silver lining. Uh, you always learn more from a loss. Um, so I'm sure guys will take that and take the lessons that they need from that. Um, you know, we, we had a chance to win. We didn't. Um, find out a way to correct those things and be better. Um, but it's a good lesson. you gotta learn, You got to learn during the season. You know, in order to win championships, you got to have these lessons. Um, and they battle. Um, I, I don't know. It was, it was a good battle um, between two teams that, that battled all the way to the end. Um, I think at the end of the day, you know, it's going to come down to playoff football. You know, the rivalries aren't made in the regular season. Um, what gives a damn about the regular season and how you play? You know, do you make it to the playoffs? Do you make noise in the playoffs? Um, at the end of the day, you want to win these games um, to give yourself great playoff seeding, give yourself a chance. But um, rivalries aren't created in the regular season. Two more. I think we did get a lot of it corrected. Um, I think guys played hard. Uh, I got to see the tape um, to see exactly um, what we, where we went wrong. You know, obviously live live bullets. Um, you can't recognize everything that went great went went wrong. Um, so we'll get a chance to to look at the tape and, and correct it. Uh, but at the end of the day, our guys battled as hard as they could for as long as they could and and didn't make any excuses. And you can appreciate that. You can you can you can hold your head up high when your guys did that. Um, there was nobody out there that quit. There's nobody out there that that hung their head and, and gave up. Um, and at the end of the day, that'll give us a chance to win any ball game. I mean, he was poised. Um, Dre was poised the whole game. Uh, he he played a great game. He made some huge plays for us, some huge stops, tackle. Um, you know, I think Kwan Williams deserves a ton of credit. Um, I'm sure you know the Pro Bowl voting opens next week. I hope he gets a ton of votes um, and should be the lead vote getter. He made a ton of plays for us today, um, and he was one of the reasons we kept in the game. You know, huge forced fumbles, um, huge sacks, uh, freaking. He was everywhere. You know, he was the player of the game for us. He kept us in it. Um, he was the MVP. Eric Armstead deserves a ton of credit. Um, obviously. DJ Jones played a heck of a game and was out there um, terrorizing people. Uh, I think I think those guys deserve credit. Um, Defoe with a huge touchdown, Fred with a punch. Um, 
Freaking um, Eman, Emmanuel Mosley played a heck of a game, battled, battled the whole game. And, and you got you to gotta appreciate that, you know, because that's learning. That's learning. Those guys haven't been put in those situations as often. Um, and in a game like this, you appreciate those guys getting put in this situation and responding the way they did. They, they, they didn't fold. They didn't, they didn't get nervous. They stayed locked in. They made huge plays. Um, and so I guess that's the learning. You know, you, you have great players that play great in great moments. Um, obviously, you got Bosa and Defoe and, and those guys who played, played extremely well. Um, the safeties played great. Um, so we, we, we got a lot of positives that come from this, but we'll correct the things that we can correct and we'll move forward. All right, thanks, Sharon. Thank you.